Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel here. Today we're going to be doing some more Tool, and I am stoked. Uh, finding Tool, two songs in, and I'm already feeling like it's a uh, sort of a life-changing journey. So I really mean that. Uh, thank you to everyone that's stuck around to support me and tell me where to go from here. I'm sort of just like meandering, uh, but I do read every single one of your comments, and it's very, very helpful to have some guidance um, but I've had a, definitely a mixture of sort of like uh, philosophies on how to do this. And I think I'm just going to go at my own pace and kind of just, um, like I said, meander. But I wanted to go with Taylor. Taylor, thank you so much. He was the original person uh, that told me I had to cover Tool. And uh, he's one of my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. He recommended in the comment of my last video that I check out Sober Live just to see where Maynard came from. Uh, this is shot in, I guess, 1993, or the song came out in 1993, so uh, when I was born. Uh, so that's a little perspective there. Uh, but yeah, I just want to kind of see their roots and what they were like uh, sort of in their, their you know, uh, early inception, right? Although it looks like this is a massive venue, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, I am just a beginner here, so... Um, yeah, I'll stop rambling, but just a quick reminder to go subscribe to Tool, support them as an artist after this, and if you like what you're seeing, hit subscribe, like, comment, I do read every single one of them, and uh, consider supporting me at my Patreon if you like that as well, but let's do Tool here, cannot wait. I did choose the live version, by the way, so uh, Taylor recommended that, and I just feel like it, it's good to see them sort of performing early, so.
said directly I want you and I'll be real Trust me, trust me, trust me to see the crowd's reaction on that one. It's too bad it cut. Um, Maynard, first of all, rocking the uh, the Mohawk right there. Really cool to see him perform, uh, having just listened to sort of two disassociated tracks in terms of, like, no visuals. That was powerful, man. That was really powerful, watching him sort of have this sort of, like, musical exorcism on stage man i mean it looked like he was almost having withdrawals like withdrawals right there um or anxiety uh just like gripping at his shirt um that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen like john frashante of the red hot chili peppers perform earlier in his days you know after his solos or during his solos and it was like the music was just sort of coursing through him without his own will and that's sort of what I was getting from that. Really fucking awesome to watch. Um, lyrically, I need to pull up the lyrics here. Um, but what I what I what I got from that is that essentially, you know, stalking. <laughs> there's a shadow just behind me. Yeah, essentially, this stalking shadow. Murder the path of must. Jesus, won't you fucking whistle something but the past had done. Something but the past had done. Why can't we not be sober? Just want this. Yeah. This this stalker that is uh, addiction. Sort of that looms over every step you take. And it's just so hard to get away from it. Um... You're literally being followed at all times of the day, right? Sort of either in your mind or by reminders of things that are around you or your friends are drinking or smoking or whatever they may be doing. Um, why can't we just not be sober and want this to start over? And why can't we drink forever? Um, this, this back and forth tug of war. Uh, I'm just a worthless liar. And then the feelings of worthlessness that enter your body. Um, Damn. In this case, I think it's much more about the, the performance and the, the, um, the lyrics coming together that make it such a fucking powerful piece of music. But that was, that was cool. Um, and then just knowing that there's, you know, 60,000 fans out there, whatever that was, uh, watching that unfold in real time. It's pretty legendary. It's pretty legendary. So, um, what put Tool on the map? Because they, 1992 I'm seeing in Philadelphia like what what was the the define was it like just their first album drop or were they performing on uh, different scenes uh, please let me know I'd love to know more um, I'll do my own research as well but um, definitely love hearing from all of you thank you Taylor for suggesting this and uh, I'll definitely continue down this this uh, this journey and rabbit hole I'll spiral out um, yeah and I, I'm gonna get that reference I know when I get to the song um, but yes, thank you so much for being here. Uh, just a quick reminder to go subscribe to tool, uh, show them the love. But if you liked what you saw here, leave me a comment, subscribe, like all that stuff. It does actually help me and, um, I'll see you next time. Okay. Take care.